President Trump is digging in on his border wall demands, repeating he'll let the government shutdown go on for as long as needed if Democrats don't give him the proper funding. Fox News correspondent Ellison Barber reports from the White House. The commander in chief video conferences with American troops overseas thanking them for their service. Every American family is eternally grateful to you and we're holding you close in our hearts. Typically, the president addresses the servicemen and women from his holiday vacation site, but this president is in Washington, having postponed his trip to Florida because of the partial government shutdown, again calling on Democrats to meet his demands for border security. It's not going to be open until we have a wall, a fence, whatever they'd like to call it. Democrats insist they too want safe borders, having included more than $1 billion for border security in a proposed government funding bill. But they want to focus on areas like technology and more border personnel. We currently are only screening one out of five cars and trucks coming across our border. Let us dramatically increase the technology there in something called a Z portal. That's the kind of investment that Democrats want to see for real border security, not some medieval wall. Not good enough, says the president. He needs more money and he needs a wall. The only way you're going to do it is to have a physical barrier, meaning a wall. And if you don't have that, then which is not opening. The president also announced today that he plans to visit Texas in January for a groundbreaking ceremony on a section of the wall. We've reached out to the White House to ask for more information on that. So far, we have not heard back. Reporting at the White House, I'm Ellison Barber, Fox News.